Coach Roper. Zim. You got me fired up today, man. Good, good, good. Is it, listen, is it intentional or is it just who you are? Be honest. With what? That's a good question. Come on. The energy? Yeah, man. Oh, it's definitely intentional, man. Like, if you get around me outside of this, like, I'm calm and relaxed. I'm not that. I've had a few people in my life that's kind of influenced that because you kind of have to have it to reach people, right? And that's why we're here. Like, technique's good and all that, seeing tough guys, that's awesome. But we're really here to reach people, try and get more out of your life. Like, Fred, you've been around that guy enough to know he's a, he's a maniac, dude. I got it from him. Schwab, that guy's 100 miles an hour all the time. 100 miles an hour all the time. So I'm really trying to emulate people I look up to that I want to be like. So when I get in the room, I do have another different gear that I try and get into. And it's kind of always been that way, man. So when I get off the the mat, I'm way more relaxed. I get on the mat, I turn into a maniac. So it's definitely intentional, man. This isn't me all the time, for sure. Balance. You know, you just talk, gave a speech about balance and not, you know, letting wrestling become a sickness. I know you've had the sickness. Definitely. Totally have had it myself. Um, how, do, how do we find this balance? Help me with the balance. I, I guess give me some therapy right now, seriously. I mean, cause it's really hard to, yeah. to keep that balance. Well, I think uh, it's almost like drug addiction, man. It's, we're type A people, we want more and more and nothing's ever good enough. And then we almost get addicted to the drive, right? You feel good pushing beyond your boundaries. You feel good reaching more. And that's kind of been ingrained, I mean, ever since Gable, that's who everybody's emulating, right? It all goes back to Gable. That's the origination of American wrestling where it really took off. And it was always more and more, do something more every day. So I think everybody can take that too far, especially when the obsessive personalities that we have but when it really comes down to it, man, and we look at the grand scheme of the universe, how important is our wrestling career? It's not very important for our just affecting other people around us, which I think everybody wants to do. So if we really want to take our own self to another level, it's got to go outside of wins and losses and how I compete. And it's important because the more you win and the better you do, the more people you get to affect. But you got to use it as a tool. And that's one of the reasons I admire Doug so much. He's achieved at the highest level. He wrestled in the Dagum Olympics, for goodness sakes. But he doesn't walk away from not getting a medal, and that's what all he talks about, right? He talks about his experience and how it's making him a better dad. And that, in turn, makes me want to be a better dad one day, a better husband, better wrestling coach. So that's what I think it is. Finding the balance, give back everything you get. So you, you take, you take, you take, and you got to make sure you get back. There's a natural balance to life that I think we have to keep. And most of the time, we go way too much take and not enough give back. So once I started thinking about putting out what I take in, wrestling got a lot healthier for me. You know, you, you talk. You just got married. You got some life-changing yeah, stuff that sure. happened. Bought a new home. I know, man. It's you're, been crazy. You're settled into Iowa. Um, is that stuff giving you some balance? Do you think? Um, it's been such a. I got some advice. Don't get married. Buy a house. Go on vacation during recruiting season. Don't do that. That's been crazy. July was a crazy month. Yeah, but it definitely does. Like, you start going home and you got this awesome place that. You just think about how fortunate you are that wrestling has taken me. I mean, it's wrestling that's got me here. I mean, I've worked pretty hard and I've been fortunate the people I've been around, but wrestling got me this place. And then I get all wrapped up and I'm in my office and I'm on my whiteboard doing my crazy nerdy roper stuff. And my wife comes in and she's like, come on, dude, like really? So it is good balance being or having somebody that's outside of the sport a little bit. And she supports everything I do, but to get me to step back and realize, okay, there is other stuff. So it definitely has given me some perspective that there are bigger things out there. And then I can't imagine having a kid one day and you got this other person that you're in charge of and you got to make sure it lives and grows up and is healthy. So I'm sure that'll be a whole nother revelation, I'm sure. What's it like having Cliff come out here, you know, put a recruiting event right in your guys' backyard? Obviously, it's very convenient. The Georgia one's really nice. But um, you know, this one here in Iowa, we're, we're 25 minutes, half hour from, from you and I. Um, what's that like for you to, to have that and, and to work with Cliff? Uh, it's no secret, man. I'm a Fred Will fan. I owe so much to that guy. Like From day one in my coaching career, that guy's been there. And when, when I'd get down on myself or I'd want to quit, he was the one that just kept me moving and kept me pushing and kept me wanting to get better. So anything that guy does, I know it always turns into something that's that's magical and it, and it's not any special talent that he has. It's his drive and it's his work ethic. So if he's doing something, I don't care where it is. And it's convenient, it's in my backyard. I got to drive from my house this morning, that's awesome. But whether it's in California, New Jersey, or Georgia, or Washington, wherever it is, I'm gonna try and be a part of what that guy's doing because I know how special he is and I know how he wants to make a difference in other people's lives. So that's something I definitely want to support. But great that it's here, awesome. Independence is a great, 
great facility. You picked up a guy. You have a guy that's actually here yep. that you guys actually got from a C3 event. We did. Well, well, you know, what? how was that for you guys to be able to, you know, I guess cherry pick a guy, recruit a guy, what it's for, what's it like to actually show that the product works? Well, we, we knew he could wrestle because he had a really good, it was back, it might have been Fila Cadets back then, I don't remember if it was UW or if it changed, but he had a really good tournament there, so we knew he could wrestle. But then I got around the guy through three days and it was down in Georgia so it was 197 degrees and 400% humidity and through a lot of sessions of wrestling and that dude's just like dialed in the whole time and I was like holy smokes not only can this dude wrestle he's also got that thing that we're looking for like the drive the dedication the focus that it takes to be successful in D1 it's not just talent you got to have that but you also have that when things get tough you're going to persevere and push through so being able to see the way he trained with on top of his wrestling talent, how many matches he could win was a great thing. And it's been a great fit, man. He's gonna have a great career. We're pumped we got him. And being from Texas too, like, you're not gonna get a chance to go down there and see him. Not from Iowa to go down there and see that dude train very often. So it was awesome to pick him up from that event. He made a really good impression. All right, coach, we got a break right now. We got some guys for you to talk to and mingle with. You got anything else for me? Man, I appreciate what you guys do. Like, keep spreading wrestling. The world needs it, man. It's a great sport, it teaches awesome characters. Appreciate what you put into it. Thanks so much.